it's time. Everyone's waiting. You all set? Yeah. Good. Ready when you are. Hang on. Where are my flowers? Well, don't look at me. I haven't got them. Well, the cat just disappeared. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? How am I going to be a flower girl without any flowers? Nobody will notice. I'll notice. I must have left them on the carriage. Yeah, well, then you should have been more careful. I'm not going anywhere without them. Oh, Amy, stop being such a drama queen. I'm not moving. Amy. Not moving. Oh, the carriage can't have gone too far. Uh, you can't be serious. What have you told him? Let's go somewhere quiet. Come on. Come on. What's that about? She must be trying to smuggle him out. She can't be that bad, surely. Mate, anyone saying I do to Tracy Barlow? He's like a turkey voting for Christmas. <laughs> Please, don't encourage him. But they work together. They were hugging and kissing, all right? Even me and you are not that hands-on. So what's the game plan? We have it out with him. Michael wouldn't cheat on Gail. He's not the type. Well, he don't look the type to rob your MP3 player, does he? But guess what? Fine. Do you know what? I'll do it myself. What? You're just going to steamroll in? No, I can do so. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, well, maybe you should hold my lead, then. Fine, but we're giving him the benefit of the doubt. Whatever. Do you know what? You're becoming dead boring in your old age. What time do you think we might be able to slip away? I wasn't away. We were planning to slip away. Oh, please, don't tell me this is about your wretched parcel. They have very limited delivery slots. Well, I'll give you limited delivery slots. You've still no idea what it might be. No, no, none whatsoever. Surely that's the thrill of it, the breathless excitement of the mystery revealed. You know, I couldn't have put that better myself. <laughs> you know, you two really should get out more. Just go talk to him. No, he's out of my league. Is he heck? Listen, I appreciate what you're doing. I'd rather be single and alone than deluded. I'm not having this. First chance you get, get that way is number. Me? Sean needs this. So why don't you do it? Because it requires a man's touch. Besides, neckline would only scare him off. Please, babe. Don't everyone deserve to be as happy as us? Win any prizes for presentation? Mm. It's the taste that matters. It's okay then. It's delicious. You're a woman of many talents. And mm. you're pretty nifty with chopsticks too. Mm. Couldn't catch a fly with them though. <laughs> the Japanese use them to catch flies. No, no. It, it's a film called The Karate Kid. Nick used to love that film. Watched it all the time with his dad. It's definitely a father-son movie. You think about Gavin a lot, don't you? Some days more than others. Gail. Hello, hello. Don't mind if we get crashed, do you? Rob. Get away from me. <laughs> I said, get away from me! I did try. You betrayed me. You gave me no choice. You had a choice, Carla. You could have chosen your own brother, your own flesh and blood. Rob, you asked me to pretend it didn't happen. I begged you for another chance. I really wanted to give it to you. I still do. You really enjoying that stuff? 100%. I'm just checking. I wouldn't want you lying to me mum or anything. Ignore him. Do you know, I think I've got a CD of Madam Butterfly upstairs. Don't go to any trouble on my behalf. Oh, it's no trouble. She's hoping the whaling will drive us away. We live in hope. I won't be long. OK. 
So what am I supposed to have done now? You tell us. We saw you with Eileen. We saw you snogging and all. Looked very touching. Whatever you think you saw, you've got it wrong. You'll prove it, then. It's none of your business. Ah, you have got somewhat to hide. Eileen is just a friend, nothing more. I don't think my mum will be best pleased. I mean, they're not exactly best mates, are they? Look, we just want to hear your side of the story. All right. But let me choose the right moment. Please. You'll understand when I tell her. You found them? Yes, I did. And I had to run a very long, long way. Thanks, Michelle. <sighs> Well, I always said you'd go the extra mile. Yeah, and don't you forget it. Right. Are we doing this then, or what? Bring it on. Ready when you are. Tracy. Let's do it. Have a look. It's the inside. What? Dad, you're really weirding me out. I'm just so proud of you. It's about flaming time. <laughs> Come on. No matter what happens, you'll always be my brother, always. I am nothing to you. Look, I'm sorry to break all the party, but you both need it out there pronto. I'll stand by you. I promise. Guys. Shall we? We shall. <laughs> They're going to be here any minute. I'll take my chances. Don't grow up, run away, or you make things worse. What's going on? Oh. Babe? I know you're anxious to marry me, but really? There's nowhere to go. To go? T to go where? You're pulling my leg, right? I'm so sorry. What do you mean you're sorry? What are you sorry about? Ask her. Ask me, precious sister. Rob! Rob! Tracy, Rob, what's going on? What the hell have you said to him? I don't think we should do this here. Well, I really don't care what you think. What have you said to him? Tracy, tell me! Cara, please. He can't. Calling the police. Oh, no, you no, can't I do that. To. Don't bother, they're already on the way. Rob wouldn't hurt anyone, he wouldn't. Go inside, darling. Mum, tell her. I said go inside. Come on, Lizzie. You're lying. Oh, I wish I was. You're sick in the air, Tracy. He told me last night. Oh, come off it. You're just trying to save Peter's skin. I don't care if Peter rots in hell. But, Tracy, he did not kill Tina. Oh, come away. Look, I believe her. Oh, well, there's a surprise. You know, you had to make this about you, didn't you? You know what, Tracy? You're not completely blameless yourself. Oh, what? You get me his alibi, you lie. I don't have to answer to you. No, but you have to answer to them. <sighs> well, suddenly this is all my fault. You see, we've both lost. Everybody inside. Where's your brother? Go. Gone where? I don't know. Who tipped him off? <laughs> Get her out of my sight. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 
I knew it was too good to be true. <laughs> oh. Oh. So, she's actually gone. Yep. I thought she'd leave kicking and screaming. She's left, that's the main thing. I almost felt bad for her. I said almost. There was something different about her. Don't tell me you reckon she's changed. <laughs> she wants us to feel sorry for her. Yeah, maybe. Ty, back me up here. I knew this would happen. It's like she's brainwashed you all. Sorry, but I can't listen to this anymore. Your mum isn't on a guilt trip. Your mum's sick. What happens to my son now? One step at a time, Mr Barlow. At least allow me to take Tracy home. I'm afraid that's not possible. We need to ask her a few more questions. Hasn't she been humiliated enough? Sorry, it's procedure. And what about Carla? Well, we'll be questioning her in due course. Well, can't I at least talk to her? Not yet, sorry. I've never seen her like this. Do you reckon I should go over? I don't know. Um, she's not ready to share. Can I get you out? Glass of water. Something stronger. Oh, come on, Trace. There must be something you want. I just want my husband. When can we get out of here? If you could all bear with us and remain on the premises while we conduct our inquiries. For, for how long? Surely, you should be able to give us some sort of idea of a time scale. Afraid not. Ah, but you see, you don't understand. I'm expecting a very important package. Can I suggest you rearrange? Yes, but I've already rearranged. This is it's intolerable. I, I, I'm at the mercy of petty bureaucracy. You'll be at the mercy of my right foot if you don't stop whittering on about your flaming past. Please, please tell me you understand. Well, not really. You've just seen the groom unveiled as a murderer, the bride attacking the best woman, and the wedding completely ruined. Usually, you'd be in your element. Yeah, you know, you're right. The parcel can wait. Sorry, I just don't buy it. What, you think Stella might be pulling a fast one? It wouldn't be the first time. She lied about having skin cancer. Is it true? Yeah, that was low even for her. No, for the last time, your mum weren't lying, Chez. She, she was scared. Osteoporosis, right? It's no laughing matter, that. Look, I completely get she's caused your untold heartache, right? But I know what I know. Come on. We might still catch her. <sighs> Can I have a word? I suppose I should try to get a message to Peter. You are unbelievable. He doesn't like to know. It's always about Peter, isn't it? Always about the blue-eyed boy. The man I love is on the run. My life is in a million pieces and I still can't get your full attention. I'm sorry. No, you're not, Dad. You're not even close. Ken must be going through the mill. Ken? Well, he's always said that Peter was innocent. Peter Barlow's not innocent. Rob may have killed Tina, but he was only finishing off what that man started. Either way, she'll finally find peace. I hope so, Emily. I sincerely hope so. You were with her that night, weren't you? Don't worry about it. Were you with her? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Come on, I didn't know she'd give him a false alibi. I told you, never get involved with Tracy Barlow. It's under control. Oh, it's under control. Keep your voice down. Don't you tell me to keep my voice down. There are police in there wanting answers, Tony. A lot of answers. Tracy knows how to keep her mouth shut. Oh. Well, let's just pray that you're right. Because I don't want another idiot jail magnet ruining my life. How'd it go? I think I made an impression. Mm, you silver tongued devil. <laughs> Twelve hours is a long time in this situation. It's a lifetime, in fact. What's your point? 
Our point, Mrs. Barlow, is why didn't you contact us sooner? Is that a serious question? That's my brother. He's also a murderer, according to you. Are you saying you willfully withheld information? Yeah. Even though he confessed to bludgeoning Tina McIntyre to death? Yeah. OK, you can see why somebody might have a problem with that. I couldn't care less. Did I do the right thing in the end? Yes, I did. Do I hate him for it? No. You don't seem to hate your husband either, despite his fun and games. What has Peter got to do with this? Maybe there was no confession. Maybe you don't love your little brother as much as you claim to. You believe what you like. I've told you where Rob said he hid the pipe and the jewellery. Short of slapping handcuffs on him, what else could I do? Let's wrap this up. Haven't you two got jobs to go to? It is getting late. Maria's cool. Anyway, Marky boy don't want us to leave yet. Do you, pal? Just tell her. It's not that simple. Tell me what? He thinks Eileen and I are having an affair. What? He saw us in a taxi earlier. Why were you in a taxi? We were coming back from the hospital. The hospital? I got my results today. And you took her instead of me? Oh, I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. <laughs> well, that's it, isn't it? She's most folks' worst enemy. Hey, look around us. Don't hear make up the numbers. Yeah, I noticed you accepted the invite, though. Well, oh, I didn't want to be rude. Yeah, and you knew there'd be a decent spread. Well, yeah, that was well. Oh, <laughs> shameless. Yeah, gasping and all. Right, I'm gonna see if I can scare up a bit. Do you fancy one? Yeah, go on then. What? Just making a bit of an effort to get on. Yeah, and ignoring me at the same time. Oh, please tell me that you're not feeling jealous. Actually, I'm feeling something more fun. Fun? Do you remember the last wedding we went to? Well. They've got four poster beds in some of the rooms here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was thinking, when we get the all clear from the police, we could just slip off. All right, stop doing your struck oil. Well, you could get bladdered with my ex. Can't do both. Cheers, mate. Cheers, pal. Do you think Mrs. Connor's telling the truth? Well, knowing how she feels about Rob, I wouldn't bet against it. Still? At least we know our wedding couldn't go any worse. Mm, I won't count your chickens just yet. What do you mean? I'm just saying with my lot, you hope for the best, but you always have a fire extinguisher ready. <laughs> Consider me RSVP'd. Having said that, I wouldn't mind a guitarist. It's the sort of thing folk remember. Hey. I'm off now. Oh. Please said we can leave. Uh, this is my friend, uh, Sean. Hi. <laughs> hey. Call me. Something must have got lost in translation. <sighs> Eileen was there for emotional support. She's like a flaming vulture. Gail, you're overreacting. I've been there for you from day one, and this is how you treat me. I didn't want to be a burden. You've made me look a complete idiot. Maybe you should be asking Michael how it went. Well, what did they say? I'm positive. All right, love. Have a good one. Hey, aren't you supposed to be somewhere? Come on, let's sit there. Okie dokie, what would you like? How about a juice? On second thoughts, let's push the boat out and get you a chocolate milkshake. Chocolate milkshake, please. What's going on? The wedding never happened. How come? You'll find out soon enough. Oh, Mary! Now's not the time. All right, I'll get your milkshakes. Okay. Right. Won't be two ticks. So your dad thinks it's best if you come back to Dev's, you know, until everything quietens down. Okay. On the upside, I was planning an American night as a special treat. We've done one before. I make hot dogs and french fries for Addie and Asher, and then we watch a film, sorry, my mistake, a movie, 
and then we eat loads of popcorn and only talk in really bad American accents. <laughs> and I do the odd impersonation, though, truth be told, they're all rubbish. Apart from Kermit and Joan Crawford. Oh, I'm sorry. Here I am blathering on. You don't reckon it's my fault? Your fault? Everyone was kept waiting because I left my flowers on the carriage. Maybe Auntie Carlo was mad about that. Amy. <laughs> Mum's always saying how up herself she is. Amy, none of this has anything to do with you. So you're saying it's all true, then? Poor Mum. Happy was a good look for her. At least he got to see the dress. He said we can leave. About flaming time. Not you. We need to ask you some questions. Me? Inside. I'm not going anywhere. Don't make things worse than they already are. <sighs> what, you think this day could get any worse for me? Well, surely this can wait. Afraid not. Now get your hands off me, cos I've done out wrong. Fine, if that's how you want to play it. Tracy Barlow, I'm arresting you on suspicion of perverting the course of justice. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Coronation Street's back in half an hour. <laughs>